I'm Steven Taylor. I coach cycling, triathlon, and personal training. Today we're going to talk about basic safety activities on the bike. Some materials you will need for this activity include a bicycle in good repair. The first safety activity is simply starting and stopping your bicycle smoothly. This isn't as easy as it looks for everyone. Before you start, rotate one of the pedals backwards until it's in approximately the 10 o'clock position. In order to start, put your weight on that pedal and step up onto it. This will propel the bike forward. Sit onto the saddle and place your other foot on the other pedal, which will now be ready to be pushed forward and down. And at this point, you've started moving and you're ready to pedal the bicycle. As you come to a stop, first brake, and as you're slowing to a stop, step down off the saddle so that you're standing on one pedal and ready to put your other foot on the ground. You're now straddling the top tube of the bicycle. If you come to a stop without stepping down off of the saddle, you'll be motionless and sitting on the saddle and probably not able to reach the ground with your feet. You may tip over. So be sure as you're coming to a stop, coast into a stop or break and step down off of the saddle and one foot is on a pedal and the other foot is on the ground. Next I'll demonstrate a track stand. For our purposes we'll define a track stand as moving your bicycle at a walking speed or slower. Track stand is sometimes used to refer to being completely motionless on the bike and not moving at all but in our case if you're rolling forward very slowly this is still acceptable. Notice here I'm slowing until I'm either completely stopped or almost stopped. I may rock back and forth side to side. The important thing about a track stand is that you do not have to put your foot down on the ground. When you're riding a bicycle, it frequently happens that you need to slow and pause. If you have to stop completely and put your foot on the ground, you'll lose a lot of momentum. And again, if you're not very good at starting and stopping, this further delays the process. The next exercise we'll practice is bicycling with one hand on the handlebars. This is especially important because you need to be able to signal a turn. If you're going to turn right, signal with your right arm. If you're going to turn left, signal with your left arm. The fourth and final exercise I'll demonstrate is a little bit of cornering. I'm doing this on the grass so I'm nice and safe in case I fall. When you're cornering, you don't turn the bike by turning the handlebars. Rather, you change directions by leaning in the direction you want to go. The handlebars will turn just a little bit, but cornering is more about leaning than it is about turning the handlebars. These are very important to practice so that when you're on the road, you can do these safely and confidently without worrying about wrecking.